What's up, everybody? Today, I'll be doing the usual. Let's take a look at everything first. The sprinklers were actually just not watering the grass, and it hit some of this area, which I'm happy to see. Not thoroughly, but some of it. And look at that, standing very well straight up. That is taller again. That looks nice and healthy. Look at all that. Let's see if we can zoom in. See all that grass growth coming in? That's exactly what we wanted. And since this did just get watered a bit, we're gonna keep it kind of brief. But. I got the low power alert on my phone, which is irritating. But I guess that works for a brief episode. Yeah, we need a topic. Today's topic is going to be... And... I wish I could go longer about this one. Well, I can. But I'll get started on, on this one. On this one. The things that I've learned learning a second language. I've been learning Spanish for a while now. And a few things I've learned. One, it's very good brain exercise. Um, it'll make you smarter in general. I feel smarter in general. Uh, it's two good motivation. In the morning when you don't feel like getting out of bed, if you do a Duolingo lesson or something, it's cool. Three, it's a great way to make friends. I have made lots of friends that speak Spanish before. It's way easier than you might expect. I don't need to put numbers on them, but it's a lot easier than I expected. I haven't done what I don't think anyone would cons I don't I haven't done rigorous study by anyone's standards. I mean I spent I, I spend I, I spend a lot of time, but I mostly just hang out, talk to people, listen to music, watch movies. Um if you're wondering what tools I've been using, it's been mostly Discord and Duolingo to be honest. Just joining Spanish speaking servers on Discord. And practicing on Duolingo. Has been a really efficient way of learning. So... What I recommend ultimately is that you learn the language by just speaking the language. I know, pretty radical, right? I don't think much more matters than that, other than that you're regularly in an environment where the language is being used and you're expected to use it, whether that's a chat room or a classroom or... Whatever. 
Alright, video game chat or friends or whatever. Just especially I found that if I'm if I express that I'm willing to try to help out with English if people have any questions. Usually people will be pretty cool, and it's not hard to find people to practice with. But... Don't think too hard about what method you go about. Just what do you usually do in a day? Can you convert that to your target language that you want to learn somehow? If you can, do that. If you can't, well, you're not going to learn the language. And if there's absolutely no way to convert what you do daily in communication to your target language at all, then there's no reason to learn your target language. So, like, there you go. of all this grass growth. Should you learn to speak another language? Yes. Which? Doesn't really matter, just pick one. Um, I would say that one thing that's been helpful about Spanish is the fact that it's not that hard to find people to practice with, and that's been a huge plus. So... I mean, you can go as obscure as you want, you just gotta be willing to make that extra effort to find people to practice with. If you don't do that, you're not gonna learn the language. Seriously, I actually feel kind of memed by every language class I ever attempted to do. Because I feel like I didn't even put effort in. I just started speaking Spanish and then it happened. And I'm like, wait. I, I, wait, this is easy. I don't, I've been lied to. I feel like all you gotta do is just surround yourself with that language. 
or like watch media in it, but don't have any translation to your native language. Because if you have translation to your native language, you're going to turn off the language part of your brain that learns new stuff. The one exception might be programs in English with Spanish subtitles because you can probably go with or without subtitles and subtitles, or, or not, not necessarily Spanish, but target language subtitles. Or maybe when you're further along other stuff, but like, realistically, You kind of just have to talk to people. And like... Alright, look. In, in, in your average day, language goes in, language goes out. Think about how language gets in, usually, and how language goes out, usually. Switch that to target language, and when you're not sure, instead of translating, try and think like a like a child it's like okay well I gotta figure out how to say the word for this thing one way or another and the most important thing be afraid to make or don't be afraid to make a lot of mistakes or do be afraid and just never learn the language Thank you, everyone, for watching. I'll catch you in the next thing I make.